What's going on? I'm Sam and yesterday was not a very great day for me. I didn't get much done and I didn't feel great and I didn't leave my shop till about 5.30 in the morning. Well, now it's about 6.15 and I'm not gonna go to sleep. I'm gonna get a super early start to the day. I already have a power rack lined up that I need to go pick up in about two hours. It's an hour away. So I'm gonna edit my video for today and then head out and get this other power rack. Since I already have one, I'll end up selling one of the two, whichever one I end up not liking as much, probably for a little bit of a profit. Since pre-market's already open, I've been watching some of my stock positions go up, mainly Tesla, which is pretty cool. And now that I have a little bit of time to kill before I gotta leave, I'm gonna edit my video that I'm releasing today. So I'll release this earlier than I've been releasing the others and get back into the habit of not being late with my uploads. Now it's light out and I'm about to head to get that rack. I replugged the tire in my truck real quick because it was leaking and getting worse and worse. I ordered an actual mushroom plug kit so that should be here in a week or so. I should have ordered one of these a long time ago with the amount of tires that I repair. I usually don't have a problem with the traditional plug types. Though I know the mushrooms are a lot better and that's the big reason I wanted one and I finally ordered it. Oh my gosh i had 957 dollars in my pocket this morning i have seven dollars right now i went to buy that weight rack for 500 and i ended up with a massive amount of just awesome stuff i gotta unload all this stuff and then i'll get into each item and how much i paid Oh man, I expected that to be a quick in and out type thing, but it ended up being so much more than that. So I had been up all night and I was getting ready to go to bed about six in the morning. That's when I saw this power rack for sale and I sent him a message and he got back with me pretty quickly. He said, what time could you be here? I knew this was gonna go fast, so I told him, I could be there anytime. I could even leave now. I was like an hour away, so I could have been there at 7. Anyway, he asked if I could be there at 8.30. I said, I will be there. I decided not to go to sleep. I edited a video for a little bit, and right at about 7.15, I went, plugged my tire because it had been leaking, and you saw me at about 7.15 plugging my tire, and then I left. I didn't even disconnect that trailer because I didn't want to take the time to do it, which ended up being a really good thing. He had told me a guy even messaged him three hours away in West Virginia to come get it, and he thought it was a scam, but that just shows how good of a deal this might have been. I got the rack, bench, everything for 500, and I've seen people selling just this many weights for 500 because prices are insane right now, but I was able to beat everyone else. I got there and I bought a second power rack. So now I'm gonna sell the first one. As you can see, this new one is way more heavy duty. It has a way better pull-up bar. It even comes with the cable attachments. It just is way better and way beefier. I'm also a fan of the slide-in lock attachments instead of the push-in rods. So that's a plus too. So anyway, when I was getting this, I had asked him, hey, are those dumbbells for sale? He said maybe. I figured the modular dumbbells like that were gonna be pretty pricey and out of my price range. So I didn't think about it too much. We took the power rack apart, loaded it in my car, and right before I left, I asked him, so what price would you give me for those uh, dumbbells? I didn't really have a chance to look up the prices online, but he said 150. And with the stand, I figured that'd be a great deal. Just for the 235 pound weights that I'm missing, it was gonna be like 100 to 150 dollars for at least the rubber coated ones. So I figured that was a pretty good deal. And I realized these went up to 90 pounds. I didn't realize until I got home just how good of a deal that is. The stand sells like for 160 new, and the dumbbell sell for like six to seven hundred dollars new, which is ridiculously crazy i would never pay that much but the fact that i was able to get all that stuff for so cheap was 
awesome. And that's when the trouble started. He asked me if I needed anything else like an air compressor. I already have this like 80 or 100 gallon air compressor at my shop and I have another 150 gallon air compressor at home plus my little portable one so I figured I didn't really need one but I'd look. Sure enough it was this smaller air compressor which I could probably use around the house but I don't really need it. Spoiler alert, I bought it. I asked him how much it was and he said $20. Now I couldn't refuse that but I only had hundreds left and he didn't have enough change for a hundred so I asked him what else do you got? And he took me to look at some tool chest. He had these two craftsman boxes and asked me how much I'd pay for them. And I said, would you take a hundred for both of those and the compressor? Because at this point there wasn't much change to go around. I couldn't have even paid 120. I guess he probably could have given me change if I paid something like 80 or maybe even 60. And he took 100 for all of this, which is pretty good. It's probably not the best deal I got from all this but it's not bad at all. And then we talked about the lawn mower. It was an older Cub Cadet and apparently it ran and cut fine at least up until a year or two ago. I've had wheel horses and John Deere's like this and they tend to sell pretty quick even when they're not running. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this or why I even bought it. It's just the price was so low that I couldn't say no. And it looks pretty cool. It actually looks really good in the shop too. The deck's not attached right now. I just slid it under, but it shouldn't be too hard to put that back on if I wanted to. That's when it became clear that it was a really good idea I had brought this car trailer. We were able to push it up pretty easily between the two of us. And then the real trouble started. He asked me if I wanted an engine stand and I was like, if I saw that engine stand you're talking about, I kind of want that, but I probably can't afford it. We walked up to it and I asked him how much he'd want. He said $100 and I was like, oh God, I don't need it. It's big, it takes up a lot of room, but it looks super cool and I want it. So I said yes, I gave him $100 and we loaded it. This is where it was super lucky that I brought the car trailer because it had the winch. So we hooked jumper cables up to his RAV4 and winched this thing up there. It went super smoothly. I was super happy I got to use my car trailer for the first time and the winch for the first time. That was easy. I, I like having a winch. It was a little too easy. And look at this thing. It is just super cool. This thing is super heavy duty. It rolls very easily. It has a hydraulic system I've never really seen before on a lift like this where it actually jacks the lift up on the push and the pull. I think it's leaking a little bit on the main cylinder, but that shouldn't be too bad of a rebuild if I ever did want to do that. But dang, it has all these steel weights. I don't know what it's for. I assume it's for really heavy engines, but I really don't know. I've never seen an engine lift quite like this. I think it's an engine lift. If anyone knows what this is, leave it in the comments. So anyway, I got all this stuff and when I got that engine lift, he even threw in this sweet office chair for free. It's a shop chair for sure, but it's better than any of the janky chairs I have in here. That's pretty much everything I got today. And for $950, getting this air compressor, two toolboxes, this lawnmower, this engine lift, uh, count the chair if you really want to. The weights, these dumbbells with the stand, the bench, the actual power rack, the barbell, and the cable system, which isn't the biggest thing. Just the power rack or these dumbbells could probably be close to 950 if I were to buy those by themselves. I've definitely seen power racks for cheaper, but this is definitely one of the higher end ones. So I'm gonna be keeping that one, like I said, and getting rid of my low end one. But my old bench seems better, so I'll probably sell the one I just got, keep the old one. I literally doubled the amount of Olympic weights I have now. The weights are the same brand, just slightly different shapes and colors, which is awesome because it's almost a matching set. This is the first time that I've had all the time in the world to myself where I don't necessarily have to answer to anyone else. So I actually have the time to go out and just do this stuff where I don't have to worry about 
well, I might not be able to go at this time because I have to be ready. So this is pretty cool. I might get into flipping more stuff, but I don't necessarily like to flip stuff all the time. But what it comes down to is I'm just gonna go where the money goes. If I can make the most amount flipping, that's what I'll do. If I can make the most amount plasma cutting, I'll do that. Same goes with flying UAVs or CNC milling, vinyl cutting, pretty much whatever I have the capabilities for or I can get that's bringing in money consistently, that's what I plan on doing. I'm actually up quite a bit on the stock market today. I'm up like $830 just in Tesla as of now, which is like 7% of what I have invested in it. Most of my trades have been profitable. I've been trading a lot less with a lot higher quality setups. Even though $750 a day would be enough to live on, I'm definitely not guaranteed and that's not my normal returns. My account value is up about 70% for the month, which is actually really good. If I can keep this up, I could live off it, but I don't want to depend on it just yet. I would rather have a bigger account living off 10% of that a month. That way I have room for heirs. But if it keeps growing like this, I will be living off the stock market money in no time. And if you're curious as to what I'm doing in the stock market, click the link in the description. You can join my Facebook group for free and see every trade I make in the stock market in real time. I haven't got much sleep yet. I need to go home. I need to edit my video. My video yesterday went out at like 3 a.m. this morning, but I didn't click public until 6 a.m. So that was way too late. I need to go edit today's video and make sure that comes out before like 10 p.m. at the latest. I'm gonna shoot for 5 p.m. And then I need to work on getting my publishing times back to like 9 or 10 a.m. because that would make way more sense and it's a lot less stressful for me. So we're gonna get out of the shop. This car is still here, so I am still waiting to move in fully, but I have been slowly adding all my stuff in, just kind of crowding around the car. I have a lot of stuff. I have a lot of stuff. I need to start getting rid of some of this or at least going through it. Come on, Griffin, let's go home. We gotta edit my video and then I don't know what's going on after that. So I did get my video uploaded, I had some dinner, and then I started packing some stuff from my garage. I got a whole truck bed full of stuff, pretty much a shelving unit and some decorations. And then I went to Peter's shop. Peter was there and he helped me load up one of these 4x8 tables and the plasma cutter. My goal is to have this plasma cutter hooked up as soon as possible so I can start cutting parts. I'll probably run the electric for that tomorrow, just so that it will be ready to go. It's 1.30 in the morning. I haven't been to sleep for, I think, over 24 hours now. And I'm really tired. So I'm gonna go home, go to sleep. And I'm, <laughs> I gotta wake up early so I can make some moves in the stock market. Tesla's gone crazy the last couple days and made me a lot of money. I think it's gonna go up higher tomorrow. If you wanna see all the moves I'm making in the stock market, join my Facebook link group in the description below and I will see you in the next video. I'm hoping tomorrow this car is moved and I can move the rest of my stuff in here. I have so much stuff. I'm actually kind of, I hardly even started moving the stuff from my house and I'm already starting to fill up this space a lot more than I expected. I have a lot of stuff.